In this video of the Superform ICF installation series, we start stacking ICF. This is where the fun begins. First, bring all your materials and tools into the center of the project. Keep all materials about six feet back to allow for diagonal bracing to be installed. Typically, you will work from the inside of your project for job site efficiency. Superform blocks are light and easy to handle, but don't drop them as mistreated and damaged blocks can cause issues down the road. Stacking Superform Blocks Always start with a corner and proceed to lay standard blocks towards the center of a wall, keeping the block on the chalk line. Ensure there is an equal amount of left and right corners on the first row. Avoid cutting corner blocks unless it is necessary for a short jog. Add rebar to the first row if required. Second row. Start the second row at the corner. Stack the opposite corner block than the first row to maintain a 12 inch offset. Remember to always alternate corner blocks for your offset. Work your way down the wall. Make sure blocks are firmly seated. Due to the strength of Superform's block and interlocking system, no clips, zip ties, foam adhesive or form lock are needed. Filler Blocks At some point in the wall, the blocks from either corner will meet and a filler block will need to be cut. It will save time and extra work by putting this joint at a window or door opening. Before cutting this piece, make sure all blocks and corners are on the chalk line and the second row is stacked up to the filler section to get an accurate measurement. It's not efficient to cut through a tie, so skip to the next cut line and take one inch off the opposite side of the block if this happens. When cutting blocks, save any pieces that are bigger than six inches for use elsewhere in the wall. Likely every wall length in the house will have one filler block. Ties may not line up in this area, the first and second row determine the layout for the rest of the courses. Every other course should line up. Joint Options As an installer, you have two options for cutting the filler block. The most common option is the overlapping joint because of our one inch cut line. Overlapping Joints If the joints are less than eight inches from each other when the block is cut and overlapped, They'll need additional form support with wood to resist concrete pressure. Place a line where additional form support is needed, so it's not missed as the block is stacked. Superform has great strength to resist concrete pressure perpendicular to the wall because of 6-inch tie spacing and corner ties. But the 12-inch overlap is what gives Superform strength to resist parallel concrete pressure. If adequate overlap is missing, forms need to be additionally supported. Stacked Joints Creating a stacked seam means the interlock is eliminated and the block won't overlap the seam all the way from the footing to the top of the wall. All stacked seams will need to be supported with wood on every row of ICF on both sides of the wall. Thank you for watching this video in our Superform installation series. If you have more questions, visit us at superformicf.com or contact your local Superform dealer.